I want y'all to point to uh, the picture of how Christ really looks like. Where? Right Touch point. Right there? All right. Now I ask y'all where in the Bible can we find that, right? Let's say page 146, 160 something. Let's show y'all, all right? What did Barack Obama do for, oh, sister already got her hands down. What did Barack Obama do <laughs> for our people when he was elected? For eight years. What did he do? I named one thing he did, but I'm sure y'all legalized. <laughs> what he, ah, there you go. Right, he, he legalized homosexuality, right? Now, God says our gates are ling langu languishing, right? They're languishing. Right so, God, so our gates, our leaders are supposed to protect us, right? Now, is homosexuality, is that all right with God? No? 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 Let's show you that in the Bible. Bring it out! Because our leaders are supposed to be teaching us the laws of God. That way, believe me, our people have not kept not one law of God yet. That's why we living like how we live. We doing things that we doing, right? That's sin according to the Bible. Bring it out! Watch this. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Go ahead. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. So thou shalt not lie with mankind, right? So a man shall not lie down or have sex with another man. Go ahead. As with womankind. As he's supposed to do with the woman, right? So that's homosexuality. Go ahead. It is abomination. It's a what? It is abomination. It's something that God hates. It's disgusting in him. Go ahead. Verse 23. Neither shalt thou lie. Yeah. You want to sit on that? Yeah. All right, good, good, good. So I'm showing you an example of our gates languishing, right? We got Barack Obama. Now, uh, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, what do they do for our people? Huh? Sell them out. 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 Another way on how they lack, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, whenever some of our people, whenever our people get killed, right? That's the only time they show up when they can get their money. Bring it out! Or they get paid to host a funeral, right? That's the only time they show up. Show up. Remember, uh, Breonna Taylor got killed. Um, Amar Arbery. George Floyd. George Floyd. I forgot the brother who was uh, running from the cop Frank, something, something like uh, that. Walter Scott here in uh, yeah, Charleston. Yeah, there you go. Walter Scott in South Carolina, right? So, in Charleston, South Carolina, right? Mm -hmm. All our people got killed. And, and in the Charleston 9, all our people got killed. And Al Sharpman, Jesse Jackson, none of them showed up, but when that money came in or when they host the funeral, they're the only ones at a funeral, right? None of the pastors shows up, right? Where, where's Creflo Dollar? I know a lot of our people, especially our older people, right? They be on the Christian News Network watching Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes all day, all night, right? right? Where, where have they shown up to step up for our people, fight for our people? When? Never. Watch this, go ahead. Micah, chapter 3, verse 11. This is what God's saying about our so-called leaders, go ahead. The heads thereof judge for reward. Yeah, that our leaders judge for reward. The only time that they'll show up to help our people, right, or to correct something, is when they get a reward. They get money or something. Go ahead, that's it. And the priests thereof teach for hire. The pastors, Al Sharpman, Jesse Jackson, a lot of different pastors, uh, T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar. Gino I'm pretty sure Jennings. a lot of pastors around here, too. Gino Jennings. G you said Gino, Jennings. Gino Jennings. All of them teach for hire, for money. You understand? For example, a way to teach for money is tithes. That's, tithes in the Bible was never money. It was your food, your crops, your oil, your cattle. Right. Like that. You give to the Levites. It was never your money. Right? So that's one way of uh, teaching for hire. Uh, when they get paid to host funerals and stuff like that, when our people get killed, that's how they teach for hire. A lot of pastors, when they say, I, I watched TV one time, pastor said the only time he'll show up somewhere else if it's he get paid. They gotta be in the thousands, right? That's the way our people teach for hire, and God said that they're languishing, they're lacking. Another way, right? Because y'all might see a few brothers in purple and gold reading the Bible, 
right? In Charleston, South Carolina, randomly, right? On the streets teaching y'all, right? Uh, Luke 14, 23. There's another way that our leaders are languishing. They're not doing what God commanded them to do. Watch this. Just to show y'all, we ain't just no regular, regular uh, uh, brothers in purple and gold out here. Watch this. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. Bring it out. And the Lord said unto the servant, mm -hmm. Go out into the highways and hedges go ahead. and compel them to come in. Right. So God says, Go out into the highways and hedges. Go where your people at and compel them to come in. That's why we came out here. We teach y'all, look, y'all are God's chosen people, the Israelites. We're trying to get y'all to come into this understanding and repent and keep the commandments. You understand? That's our job. That's the pastor's job, the leader's job. Now go back to Jeremiah 14. Too. I'm still touching on how do the real Jews look. Watch this. Now I'm going to uh, touch on it. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Go ahead. Hello. Judah mourner, uh -huh. and the gates they of language. Go ahead. They are black. Hold on. What color are the Jews? They are black. So God says the Jews are black. That's but right. Unto the ground. I Meaning different shades of brown, like you darker. Your sisters and brother right there, they lighter, right? We are black into the ground. That's what color the Jews are, right? Watch this. Go to uh, um, Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Anybody ever heard of Solomon? King Solomon. You heard of King Solomon before? The Bible? You have it? Oh, man. So this is right here. Y'all ever heard of King Solomon in the Bible? I know y'all hear me. I, like I said, I'm going to keep talking to y'all. Have y'all ever heard of King Solomon in the Bible? You have it? You have it? No. Have you ever heard of King Solomon in the Bible? No? Let's show you what the wisest king on earth looked like. The richest, one of the richest men on earth looked like. Go ahead. Right out. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Now remember, I'm showing you how the real Jews look according to the Bible. Read. I am black. Oh, what King Solomon say? I am black. King Solomon said, I am black. He didn't say, I'm a white man. This is... Because uh, a lot of our people, especially young ones, they say this is a white man's book. But King Solomon wrote Proverbs. He wrote Psalms. I mean, not Psalms. Proverbs, right? Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, right? Song of Solomon. And what, what color he say he is? I am black. King Solomon said, I am black. Read. But comely. But comely, meaning handsome, right? A lot of sisters, especially on BT a few years ago, they sound black and beautiful, right? King Solomon said that. Go ahead. O oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem, uh -huh. as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Right, as the curtains of Solomon. So King Solomon says, I'm black, right? Let me show you somebody else who was black in the Bible. That's Genesis, right. Genesis 2 and 7. What color was the first man created? Black. Black? What you say? You don't know? All right. So, so we got sisters out here too. What color was the first man on earth, and what color was Eve? Eve white. You said white? All right, well, you should stay with your first answer. Hold on. So what, what color was Eve, sister? Watch this, Genesis. You said black? All right, good. We got one sister listening. All praises. Lord gonna deal with you, sis. Watch this, Genesis 2 and 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. And the Lord God for man of the dust of the ground. Hear that? So God formed man, right, Adam, from the dust of the ground. Look right here. What color is the dust of the ground? Right, it's, it's black. Look, the dust of the ground is black. So what color was Adam? Read it again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So God formed a black man whose name was Adam, the first man created from the dust of the ground. Right? That's right. And like I said before, the deeper you go in the ground, the darker it get, right? So this is our people in the Bible, black people, right? Now, we got to talk about one of the famous men, famous men. This sister's right here sitting now. Let me ask y'all something, because I know y'all didn't hear it earlier. What, 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 is, what color is Christ? Sister's right here sitting now together. What color is Christ? What color is Jesus Christ? You said black? That's right. Okay. What? Hold on now. That's a good answer. What did the rest of your sister say? Black. Y'all say black. You say black because she said black. 
<laughs> no, or oh, y'all y'all know that? Do y'all know that? I right, good, good. So Christ is a black man according to the Bible, all right? I want y'all point to uh, the picture of how Christ really looks like. Where? Right there. Touch it, point. Right there? All right. Now I ask y'all where in the Bible can we find that, right? Let's say page 146, 160 something. Let's show y'all, all right? This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 14, right? Go to verse 1 first. Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. All right, watch this. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is, the revelation means reveal, right? So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ, right? Because we all believe in Christ, right? So this is the revealing of Christ. Go ahead, verse 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hands were white like wool. So it says Christ's head, meaning the hair on his head and the hair on his face, like he got a beard, right? Because, right? It says it was white like wool. Who have woolly hair? Black people? Right. Y'all, all y'all touch y'all hair. That's woolly hair. So that's the hair Christ got, right? That's right. So Christ got woolly hair. What color was it? You know? As white as snow. And it was white. Y'all got granddaddy, grandma. I am. Yeah. He's bald though. He bald? Oh. <laughs> Anybody else? No? Y'all do? You do? Do they is their hair kind of white? No. It is yours? I, I have a granny. Her hair is um white as a sheep. Ah, oh, there you go. White as a sheep, right? Ah, I like how you say it. You your, yours too? Your grandparents' hair like white? Ah, uh, my 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 as a grandma, her hair is kind of like grayish white, mm -hmm. and my and my grandpa, his hair, I think his hair white. White. Uh huh. Okay, so so Christ, Jesus Christ. Now remember, we showing you how he looked, right? So his head and his hairs, meaning the hair on his face, it was white and it was wooded, like y'all, like y'all grandparents, right? Yes, sir. So watch this, keep going. And his eyes was a flame of fire. And his eyes was a flame of fire. It was the red of his eyes. Mm -hmm. Why? Why was his eyes was a flame of fire? The white stuff, not the not the red one. He ain't shooting the beam out like Cyclops. No, nah, he, ain't, he ain't doing that. He got white woolly hair. And his eyes was red. His eyes is red because he drunk wine, right? When somebody drink, their their whites of their eyes turn red. All right, go ahead. Revelation chapter one verse fifteen. Well, oh. and his feet like unto fine brass. Now I'm looking at all y'all feet, right? Y'all feet the same color as the rest of your body, right? So Christ said, the Bible says his feet was like fine brass. What color is brass? Not grass, not green, not grass, brass. Brown, brown. No, it's not brown. Ah, it, it is brown. He was right. It's brown, right? So Christ's feet was brown, right? This, like green. No, not grass. Go grass with a B, as in boy. Brass. No, no, I'm not mean like that, Barry. I mean like dark brown dark grass. Dark, no. Crazy. It's, bra it's brown. Grass is brown. You ever, you ever seen a penny, right? Mm -hmm. Right. That's how grass looks brown, right? So watch this. And his feet like a to fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. All right, so his feet were so brown, it like it was burned in a fire, right? Y'all ever seen white rice got burned up? Oh, white rice. Yeah. Oh, you did? Last what color was it? Like the fire brown. It was brown. It was dark, right? About black. So Christ's feet like brown was, rice? Yeah, like brown rice, right? So his feet were so dark, it like it was burnt. So what color is Christ if it look if he look burnt? Brown? What'd you say? Darker brown, right? Right. So Christ look like you all. Y'all see that? That's right. So Christ is a Christ is a so called black man with white little hair like your grandparents. Yeah, that's Christ. Yep. That's Christ. So what's your question? All right, my first question is, is it okay to lie to get out of the no, read it again. Colossians. Ah, uh, you been bad? Y'all stop being bad. Y'all listen to your parents. Right? Watch this. Colossians chapter 3 verse 9. Mm -hmm. Lie not to one another. Right. Lie not one to another. Right? So your parents, right? You get in trouble, right? Now you caused it, and you're trying to lie to get out of it. God said do not lie one to another. Right? Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Go ahead. Honor thy father and thy mother. You hear that? Read it again. 
honor thy father and thy mother. So the Bible says, honor your father and mother, right? What does that mean? You tell me what it means. Right. What else? They, if they tell you to clean up, clean up your room, what you supposed to do? Clean it up. If they tell you to do your homework, what you supposed to do? You do everything they say do, right? So God says, honor your father and your mother, right? Now, why did God say that? Watch this. This is for your benefit, Reed. That thy days may be long upon the land. So the purpose for you honoring your father and mother, doing what they say, not uh, bucking up to them, not hitting them if you get mad, because it's a law in the Bible say if a child hit their parents, they worthy of death, right? You want to die? You don't, right? So don't be fighting your parents. Don't be talking back to your parents. You got to honor them. Why? So you can live long on the earth. Ain't you see a lot of kids dying? Mm -hmm. You do, right? You want to be one of them? Mm -hmm. So you're not supposed to lie to your parents. You're supposed to honor them. That's right. for all y'all. You understand? Mm -hmm. So read on. Is that in on upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Right, so so your days can be long on the land. Ain't you want to grow up to do old, uh, uh, follow your dreams and stuff like that? Uh, right? So you got to honor your father and your mother. You understand? Right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.